morning everybody how's it going thank you for the story of the coffee shop uh for allowing me to be on your guys' uh live uh show Good morning, how you doing? I'm gonna start off by making me a cup of coffee. How about that? Um, so I got the coffee weighed out here, get the AeroPress. I uh, just want to share what we do here at our coffee shop and, and how we started. Um, started in 2017 with the idea of sharing our Filipino coffee with, with the world. And uh, if you don't already know, coffees are grown in the Philippines. And, uh, and we're trying to expose that. So, and that's what we roast here at our shop too. Uh, so like I was mentioning, um, the, uh, the idea started in 2017 uh, when my mom had told me about coffees from the Philippines and um, just went, you know, just obviously started going down that rabbit hole and um, it led us to here. And here it took a while, it was uh, probably four years in the making. Um, Started off doing farmers markets, uh, pop ups, uh, events, uh, yeah, and then even roasted at the farmers markets as well. So that was a, uh, and that's what, uh, why that's why we're able to to get our you know own shop here in Los Alamitos, California. So. so. started on coffee and I'll talk a little bit more. Anyone have any questions? Uh, if you're wondering what this AeroPress recipe is, uh, we use the coffee that we roast here, um, Baraco, uh, which is one of the rare beans cultivated in the Philippines. Um, medium to fine grind, and set, this one is about 16 to 17 grams. Um, 
Uh, 30 second bloom, uh, water temp at 195, and let's see, and then for extraction or brewing time about a minute 30. Oh, so like I was mentioning, uh, starting off uh, our coffee shop or uh, coffee company at the farmer's markets and then eventually getting to our brick and mortar. We opened last year uh, in March um, and we're still here. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> with uh, with, with that being said, it, it, I don't think that could have been done without our community support and obviously us as a business to, to do as much as we can um, to stay active and, and to, uh, to sign up for any opportunity that uh, were in front of us. Um, and also thanking the other businesses uh, that worked with us uh, during the the whole thing last year. Um, I think, you know, that's what made this business um, not uh, think about, um, not to think about preparing for, or getting ready for um, this last year's event, um, you know, being able to work with others, collaborating and opening our doors in, in many ways and sharing our passion and obviously sharing their passion with us, with other people. So the, the cross collaboration, um, that's the, that word that is used more frequently now, the, you know, the pivoting as a business, um, but I think, you know, uh, it, this, this kind of forces everybody to like, in, into a survival mode, like, uh, so I think with, 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 with that, that's how, you know, we're able to make it this far, and, and obviously, like I said, the support of the community, the team, um, definitely hands down for, you know, supporting as much as, as much as you guys do. Uh, yeah, so, and we recently had our grand opening here uh, in Los Alamitos, so, yeah, I mean, still, still uh, grateful for these opportunities, even for the story of the coffee shop. I know they had reached out earlier last year to do this, and I was like, let's go, you know, as soon as they, they had hit me up, and um, fast forward to now, so we're, we're, we're finally here with you guys and, and sharing this with you guys. Um, so uh, the, the history with coffees from the Philippines, that's what we want to focus on here and the specialties that we have. Um, and we, we like to always think, uh, or not think, but always act on, on our mission. And our, our big mission here is to give back to the Philippines. So that's what we're doing. Even in the beginning of the, you know, when we were doing the farmers markets, I always had that in mind is to get back to the Philippines. And whether you want to believe it or not, that's what we were doing. You know, we were promoting the coffees and saying, saying the, well, it's not our belief. It's like, it's what's known. And we're trying to make it back in, into, and in, not be history is make history again. Um, and if people didn't know, we were the largest suppliers in coffee history in the 1900s. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's 7,000 islands, and I keep saying the spiel, but 7,000 islands, and yes, we grow coffee. coffee. Um, and 
if you want to look at what we have available, we have four species available. We have Arabicas, Robustas, Excelsa, and Liberica. And uh, if you want to look at those in percentages, right, that's, you know, 60% of the world is, you know, uh, total is about 60%, and then uh, Robusta is about 40%, Excelsa is 7%, and Liberica is 2%. So rarities, yes, the rarity that we do uh, roast coffees here in Los Amigos, uh, Orange County, California, fresh, um, and that was the... The tagline for Diofilo Coffee was uh, roasting uh, fresh Filipino coffee. So um, that's what we do here and kind of pick the specialties and uh, th th that's what we have. And the things that we do here kind of uh, make it unique. Um, like only choosing manually, brewing only with AeroPress, you know, like that's all we do here is just AeroPress. We don't do pour overs or anything, so we just keep it really simple. And if you can see the machine behind me, that's, uh, that's a science project that Ground Control uh, makes, and that's what we use here to extract these flavors uh, you know, from these uh, coffees, so. Yeah, yeah, if you know, if you know Liberica, that in, in the Philippines, that's called Baraco. Um, not many people know that, but that is like the cof coffee of the Philippines. Uh, if you ask any um, Filipino that knows about coffee, and like I said, I, I, I admit I didn't know about Filipino coffee until 2017. So, um, but now I'm now I'm in the know and I'm trying to promote it as much as we can here. Um, we work direct, directly with the DTI of Philippines and Los Angeles, uh, collaboration with Philippine Coffee Board. <clears throat> and this is the one way we can give back to the Philippines as well. So we, we find opportunities in many ways to collaborate um, on our mission. And even with um, the designers, we've created uh, a way for them to uh, collaborate with us so that they can also give back to the Philippines and as well as the consumers that come into our shop. We give them the opportunity to, uh, to also donate if they want to. We, the Philippine Coffee Board had sent us single origin coffees um, and we made them available to the public and these are the coffees here a very small amount but that's how we were able to funnel the money back into the uh into philippines and like i said we always focus on our mission here um and yeah if you're wondering what this weird contraption is this is this is our uh aeropress stand and it's from a vehicle uh yeah, so we do weird stuff here. And this is also a refillable can that we sell here at, at Theophil Coffee. So. <clears throat> um, let's see. Did it, um, I guess the uh, other questions that, that we get a lot are, um, you know, what are, what are the differences uh, of Philippine coffee, uh, you know, or what makes Filipino coffee better? We always get these questions and I always start off by obviously the understanding, right? Because I didn't know either, but not knowing is a... Uh, I guess that's partly everyone's fault, right? And it, and it's not like anyone needs to know. But you can, if that question is asked, that's saying the same thing about all the other coffee countries, right? Uh, Africa, um, coffees, uh, Costa Rica, Brazil, Guatemala, um, you name it. 
Peru. I mean, th you could say the same thing about these other countries, and I would say that what separates us is that having these four other species available in our country. And what separates us is that it's a different land. It's different. And in the Philippines alone, there's roughly about, I could count maybe like 20 single origin copies, and we're still, um, we're still working on, on making that available. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so this is a, this is specially made uh, arrow press stand. Like I said, this is from a vehicle. Um, it's actually an inverter. So, only custom here. Oh, it's a one-off uh, arrow press stand. I love all coffees, by the way. I'm not just the just the Filipino coffee person. I just I want to promote Philippines coffee here because all the other countries are are promoted um, at other uh, cafes. But uh, I would say we're the we are one of the many that are one of the handful uh, that promote Filipino coffee. There are other. Uh, cafes that are starting to uh, do it as well now and that's that's on, honestly a great thing to see and that just means that the word is out and it's um, I would say uh, it's, it's like I'm glad they're joining the bandwagon you know so um, yeah I think uh, yeah that's what we do here um, we do also uh, a lot of our, our our menus are very simple here. Um, let me see if I can take this and, and kind of show a little bit and kind of explain. What's up? What's up, y'all? It's uh, 5 a.m. here in uh, Orange County or LA, however you want to see it. Um, so yeah, th that's our menu right there. Pretty simple, nothing crazy. Ground control, we make people say it instead of a batch brew here uh, to put on ground control. Super helpful, guys. That's the reason why I went with this machine, and it looks super cool. Uh, it does a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it has programmable uh, recipes, so if you want consistent, clean, uh, flavorful coffee, you go to ground control. That's why I chose that. When we open up our no, you know, another location, you know where I'm going. Uh, so yeah, uh, ground control, we make people say that. And then AeroPress, uh, cold brew. I would say I, we get a lot of feedback on that cold brew. Uh, nitro, we do nitro here. Um, and yeah, like for the semi-sweet stuff, uh, and we don't necessarily do a lot of sweet stuff, is uh, our popular is Mount Milo and Nido Latte, and yeah, just basic espresso stuff, nothing crazy, and then there, we have secret menus, if you know, then you'll order it. I'm not gonna say them here, but yeah, we have refillable cold brew bottles. Obviously the bags of beans that we have available here that we roast in-house. Um, travelers, uh, chicken and waffles, uh, breakfast, and uh, yeah, we, donate to the Philippine Coffee Board. And this, this goes back to the farms. Um, we've raised, uh, I know it's more than that now, I have to update this, but it's probably uh, like, over, probably 1200 right now and continuing. So, and we started this earlier this year uh, with them. Uh, so uh, we'll keep going, you know. Um, this is kind of like the shop vibes. Uh, like I said, we we do a lot of cool stuff here, and it's like kind of sharing our culture with people that come in here. Um, it's a cool mural that uh, Bun B did. Yeah, look at the arrow press right there. So it's always going back and telling uh, telling people. Got that jute tote bag. Look at that there with that merch. And then we also our our spin-off brand 
UGK. So this is at Tim. What's up, dog? Designed this shirt. And yeah, this is another collab that we did uh, to promote our cars and coffee meet here that we do end of the month on Sundays. Uh, let me see if I can turn on the lights in the dining. We got an artwork up in here. And, uh,. Another another mural done by Bun B. Check her out. Um, and yeah, I could show you the tour. It's like it's like cribs. It's like cribs. What's up, cribs? But it's like the shop. What's up? Look at that. What? More beans? What? More beans? Beans? Yeah, beans. More beans. Want more beans. So yeah, we try to and the roaster. I know everybody's probably gonna be like, oh what is that? It's a fluid bed style coffee roaster done by Coffee Crafters. It's artist in 3E. Um, we're hoping to upgrade soon. Um, all the roast profiles and uh, what do you call it? Um, the batches are are in here in in our in our software. Let's see here, so you, you can see that we're at a thousand uh, for our batch numbers, and uh, our we we focus on. Uh, what is it called? The uh, focus on a lot of the consistency and traceability of, of of our products, including our cold brews as well. We have our cold brews that um, refill the bottles that you know, we also have traceability on um, every batch that we make. We we also number those as well. So if anyone uh, complains about our products, we could always go back and make it better. Um, it's always, I mean, it's the things that I've learned um, in these businesses I've worked in, and the batch numbers was kind of my VIN number to, and when I say VIN number, that's like for, you know, vehicle identification number that cars have, right? So you know when they are manufactured, how, when, parts, so the same thing with the coffee, we could go back and and find out what happened on that roast. And it's it's a good it's a good uh way to to um trace it. So th these are the things that I learned uh to incorporate into the business and yeah, I mean it's just a lot of uh what we do here is obviously being authentic and being ourselves. Um, yeah, that's why we do the stuff that we do, right? Um, oh, that coffee's so good. Um, and yeah, if I could zoom in on, on the, on the, um, the mural a bit. We have three pillars here at Diofilo Coffee. I don't know if you could see them, but they're on, they're on there. Secretly hidden. Secretly secretly and also on the, the bigger mural where my where the inspiration comes from as well that's uh teofilo himself uh teofilo that's my grandfather and that mean or he's my tatang and tatang means grandfather in our language uh, but yeah this is kind of the the story of Theophil Coffee in in a in the artist's eyes, and it's kind of like you know showing where when we came here when you know I was born in the Philippines and coming here and you know to LA that's where we had st started and then we started migrating closer to Orange County, um, and then yeah just like little things like 
my other grandfather who um, died um, passed away sorry a um, little, little early for his time but he also had a jeepney business and I didn't even tell the artist about that and she already had that in there I just told I just asked her if she could put his name on there so it, it's a lot of what we do here is giving back to um, the people who came before us because we wouldn't be here without them um, but uh, so this is why this is why this the, the mural is drawn but the three pillars here, execution, authenticity, and uncomfortable work. The uncomfortable work, you know you got to get used to. Um, and if you're not used to it, I'm sorry, life's going to be really hard for you. Um, and uh, as far as authenticity, it's really simple in the words. You know, just be yourself. Don't, don't hold back. Uh, I would say that I, I allow that opportunity here all the time. And I think I've, I've learned that from the company I currently work for as well, is they let me be who I am. And um, execution, don't worry about uh, anything else. And just, as, just remember, it's your product or it's your thing that uh, at, at the end of it. So don't worry about other things you can't control. It, it, you know, it's, it's in your head. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is the shop. You know, this is uh, what we share with people. Oh, by the way, this is uh, uh, this is the table that my tatang had built. It's about thirty plus years old. It's here as a memorial, and I think he had left it for for us to share a conversation with. Um, so. So yeah, that that's um, I don't know if I said enough or didn't say enough. What do you guys think? Any other questions? So uh, I got a question here. Which one of your so my my main language I would say is uh, obviously English, but um, uh, our dialect in in Philippines is uh, Kapagbangan. So there in in the Philippines, obviously there's a uh, there's many dialects, um, and so uh, that's that's mine. Uh, wish you guys could actually be here um, and sharing this cup of coffee with me. Um, let's see. Um, I would say. Oh, here's another another fun fact. Uh, and obviously, all the things that, that I said you could find on our website. So go to our website, theofilocoffeecompany.com, and we do ship. So if anyone in the 50 states want to order some Filipino freshly roasted coffee, you can get it on there. Obviously, follow our IG or Facebook. Our IG is uh, Theofilo Coffee Company, and Facebook is Theofilo Coffee. And um, let's see. Of the other uh, facts, so many of the coffees um, come from this region here. In uh, well, actually, sorry, here, like in the Benguet region. So that's where like high altitude coffees. Also here in Mindanao and in the Val, that's where a lot of the coffees come from as well. Uh, like I said, there's twenty. You know, a vino that are um, origins from the Philippines, and th there's so many more coming. So that's what we want to also have here. Soon we're gonna have more origins here at the shop to share with you guys. Um, so stay tuned. I would say in the next month or so, we're gonna definitely get more coffees. Um, so. Uh, I don't, know, I don't know about you guys, but it, this this year has flown by pretty fast, and you know what they say, uh, time flies when you're having fun, and I, I don't, I haven't seen anything that I've done uh, 
boring, I would say. And I think they keep it pretty active. Uh, we have a YouTube uh, channel. Follow us at the Theophilo Coffee on YouTube. I share a lot of the vlog stuff on there. Um, in the earlier days also, like roasting at the farmer's markets. Um, uh, yeah, just early stuff. Uh, building the first coffee cart that's uh, still, still we have a coffee cart at Faraday Future, that's the other company I work for as well. And if you're wondering what Faraday Future is, it's an electric startup company. Um, we're making an EV car, and this is, this is where that part's from as well. So, um, let me see what else I can share with you guys. Um, What's up, fam? All the Filipinos that uh, been on here. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's uh, what we do here. Um, and yeah, it's, I, I feel what also keeps us sane as well is it's never, it's never about us. It's always about the other person. Um, at least in my eyes, uh, we, we live in, in California and for such a long, or, you know, for such a long time. We live here in the in United States and it, it's, time, it's our time to give back to, it's, it's our time to give back. So that's why, that's why it keeps me, um, keeps me pushing, you know, that's what keeps, and that's why the, you know, bottom of that mural that the journey never ends. It's literally, it feels like this is so, unobtainable uh, to happen but I mean it's been a it's it's been a fun ride to get here to actually start selling these sing, single origin coffees roasted here um, yeah I mean I, I still smile you know every day uh, even if I didn't have this I would still be pretty happy so uh, I would say Yes, Batangas is a uh, Philippines as well, yes. All right, yes, we're using beans from the Philippines. I don't know if you saw it earlier, but I had uh, showed some origins that we have here. We do have Baraco, you get it. Um, so Mount Apo, that's in Davao. We have Kinilis, which is close to Davao. Um, we have Bukod, which is from Benguet region. And then Excelsa from Cavite. Um, I have to roast today for Baraco, so. Uh, and then we, we do blends. We do blends here as well sometimes. And Hopefully soon we're gonna get some Robusta beans from the Philippines, some fine Robusta. Right now we're currently using an India Robusta and we blend it with a single origin uh, coffee from the Philippines. And that's the name, Lazy Ass Madman. This is our kind of our espresso to the world. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there any other, anything else I could share with you guys? Um, oh, yeah, check out our podcast at Theophilos. Um, it's on Spotify, all the podcasting stuff. But yeah, at Theophilos is the podcast. Um, check that out. Um, Check out our, yeah, our, our webpage. We do update a lot of our stuff on there. And let's see. Oh, we do baked goods. My wife does all the baked goods here. Um, ube, we use ube a lot. Um, we have, uh, she makes the ube cookies. Yeah, she makes the ube hayala jam, handmade. Um, Waffles are also ube. Um, the strudel that we have, and then uh, the gelato. We make house made gelato here, ube gelato. Um, 
Thank you, everybody. Um, hopefully, I didn't talk too much. Um, thank you again to the story of the coffee shop that reached out last year to do this. Uh, I was super excited to do it. I can't. I don't even know if I can find that that intro video that I did, but it was a uh, pretty pretty cool. And th this has been a really amazing experience. Um, getting here, meeting everybody, talking to everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, I have no better advice to anybody than if you can. If you can believe it, um, you can achieve it. <laughs> There's really a lot of things in, in my head, and uh, you know I share those in my in my vlogs or whatever. But uh, you know, a, a lot of people in the beginning thought that this couldn't happen, or I couldn't do what I did to get to this point, and. Uh, I just use that as fuel to, you know, to, to, to make me go, you know, like to, to motivate me because words are, are, are just words, like they're not action, you know, and that's, you know, one of our <laughs> philosophies and, and our pillars here is execution. Don't worry about what anyone says or what you can and can't do. That's literally in your head and in my head, what I'm doing right now is, it, it can, it can be done, and um, with the help of the people, um, it has, you know, and we, we've gotten to this point, and if it wasn't for people in, in believing in, in my story and believing in what we do here and for other people, um, I don't think I'd be, <laughs> I don't think I would have got invited to the story of the coffee shop or, um, any other platforms so um, many thanks to everybody um, you know for, for joining the journey and, and supporting us 100% um, yeah I think that's it thank you um, so much uh, I could probably say that a million times um, but just know that my goal is to, you know, our mission is, is, to, is really simple and is to give back to our people because uh, we have it too easy here and we gotta make sure that we put our people in a different, in a different light and that's our goal, you know, is uh, to make something sustainable. So, uh, so yes, uh, the Birka is not, it's not, I wouldn't say it's in high demand because it is a specialty coffee. I would say and argue with anybody that this is the rare coffee. And uh, I don't want to upset any geisha lovers here, like geisha coffee lovers. But um, if I said 2% of the world is uh, Liberica and, and most of that is, is cultivated in the Philippines, I would say that's pretty rare in the world. Uh, geishas, if I can go to your local coffee shop right now and pick up some geisha, I don't know. Um, and anyone can argue this with me is how rare is that? But uh, the rarities in getting freshly roasted coffee from the Philippines, whether it's Liberica, Arabica, Robusta, Excelsa, I mean, you can come get it here anytime. It's in Orange County. And if you want to fact check that, we're here, so um, I would love it. You know, if someone would uh, come in here and and question it, I would I would I would show them the the roasting. I would show them, you know, where the coffees are come from, and yeah, and that's what we do here. It's just we share our culture, we share what we do here with people, and that's all we can do. You know, I never feel like I have to really try so hard to to convince anybody because that's not my that's not my that's not my job so my job is to uh, share share our passion with people and if not share other people's passion with other people so um, I would say like I said thank you everybody again 
I don't know, I think I've, I've gone, <laughs> gone longer than I should have. And the, like I said, the story of the coffee shop, uh, thank you again for these many opportunities. Uh, and like I said, you guys can follow us on uh, Instagram at, uh, on our website, theophilocoffeecompany.com, Theophilo Coffee Company on our IG, Theophilo Coffee on Facebook. Uh, we even have a TikTok page. You can check some of those things out. I do goofy shit all the time. And, and that's just me being me, you know? Uh, authenticity, as they say. So I think that's it. Um, peace, y'all. Um, so open your eyes and wake up to coffee. Cheers. That's right. Thank you, Ate Atolls, for this mug. I, I won that mug. And my wife also won this uh, Lagawin. Lagawin. What's up with that? Look at that art, though. Look at that art, though. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Signing off, y'all. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Uh...